Hi everyone, today we're going to be playing at the Challenge Golf Club in Graham, North Carolina. A beautiful clubhouse as we enter the parking lot. Hello everyone and welcome to another fun video with Geezer Tony. Before we get started, I just wanted to let everyone know that yes, I do repair my divots, fix my ball marks, and rake bunkers. I'm just not going to be showing you that on camera. Now let's continue with the video. Okay, so first first hole here at Challenge, par four. I'm not sure how long it is. It's a dog leg left. We're going to just try to hit a driver down there and play. See what happens from there. I think that's pretty good. It's a little lefter than I would have liked it, but it turned out great. Okay, I've got 90 yards left uphill. Um, the hole measures 380 from the tee, so somehow or another I hit this was at 290. I don't even know how that's possible. Must have hit a sprinkler hit. Let's see if we can get this. I'm going to hit uh, full 56, which usually goes 100, and we got 90 uphill. Looks good. We'll go see how it is. It's right at it. Yeah, it is. Okay, hole number two is 522, par five. We've got a very elevated tee. You can hardly see the fairway down there. And from what I can see, it's marked hazard all down the right side, so we really don't want to go over there if we can avoid it. Let's see if we can hit a nice draw here. Yeah, right down the right center. Really hammered. Might be a good day. Okay, so I've got 218 to the flag. I'm going to try to zoom in here and let you see. Yeah, there's the flag. It's a par five. So I'm going to I'm going to go with five wood and just try to get it up on or around the green somewhere and try to get up and down for birdie. Pretty well hit a little right of the flag, so it, it won't be on the green, but it may be near it. I didn't hit it. I opened the face too much. So I've got this, I'll say, 10-footer for birdie. Let's see what we can do with it. That ball's okay, Pat. Just leave it. These greens are like super fast compared to where we normally play at Sanford, so putting's going to be a little tough until we get used to it. Speed looks pretty straight. And once again, it looks like it broke right up the hill to me. Easy par, though. we got a long par four here. It says 409 on the scorecard. It seems to play a lot longer. The drive hits into an uphill slope. Plus, we've got a little bit of a breeze in our face, so I need to hit another good drive like the first two. Looks like I got a pretty good one. A little bit of extra draw for roll. Should be good. Okay, I've got 144. A little bit uphill, which would normally be nine, but I'm, I've got some breeze in my face. So I'm going to go with eight and just try to get it on there somewhere. Try to make par. Who knows what might happen? It could be birdie. Looks pretty good. Drawing into the pin. I think it went in the back fringe, but it's not far from the hole, so we're good. I'm good with that. 
Okay, so I'm in the back fringe here. It turns out I probably could have hit the nine anyway. It's got a slick downhiller and it's very downhill behind the hole, so I've got to be careful. A lot of break to the right. I'm just going to kind of tap this thing. And hey, you know what? I'll take that. It's a foot. Okay, this is uh, hole number four. Car three, 130 yards. If you're hearing a lot of cars, we're 10 off out here from the middle of I-40, 85. So that's what that's about. So 130 yards. I've got my long gap wedge here. Should be good if I don't miss hit it. Pulled that. It looks like I've missed the green. No, I'm on the green. I, I'm on the far left side of the green. It's not terrible. About what looks like a 25 footer, maybe 30, like two. Not doing anything crazy until I played a few more holes and get used to this speed. And like I say, if you watch many of my videos, you're going to hear this a lot. Dead end and short. And I'm happy with it. Pin, uphill back pin. I'm going with 52 gap wedge. <clears throat> Looks a little high and right, but for no warm ups, it's okay. So we got this one to the front fringe, a little short, wasn't that well hit. I've got about, I want to say 40 feet here, it's going to break to the right. And let's just try to roll it up in an area around the hole that I won't have a lot of work left. That's looking pretty good there. Yeah, it's about six inches, maybe eight inches from the hole. I'll take that one. Okay, hole number two, I'm hitting it from 175. I'm sorry, yeah, 175, right. I'm going to go with a six iron, even though it might be a little much club. Because it's a little damp today and the ground's wet. We've had a lot of rain. Looking pretty decent. Just left of the flag. Once again, it's on the front edge, but since the pin's on front, that's pretty good. I have about a six to seven footer here, better than I thought from the tee. I really like to make this one or give it a good putt anyway. So it should break a little right, so I'm going to play it just on the left edge and see. It'll turn into the hole. I can do that. And it just didn't turn the way I thought it would. So bad read, good stroke. So hole number three is a short par four. 300 yards from the white tee. I'm a little further back than that, but not a big deal. And all you want to do is hit it straight out there from anywhere from 180 or 190 to about 220, and you'll have the same distance to the green. It's not really, to me, worth it to try to cut it around the corner and get it, you know, you're risking hitting trees, and all you need is, and all you'll do is get 20 extra yards closer to the green. Wasn't the best hit in the world, but it's going to be very, very usable. Ended up having 102, and that's like at the outer limits of my 56. And that's but that's what I want to hit because uh, the 52 will go too far, and I'm not really good at taking something off of a shot. So I know my strength and my weaknesses. I'm just going to try to hit this 
normally and take what it gives me. Looks pretty good from here. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's short of the hole. So I was right about the not getting there, but I'm 15 feet uphill with a little breaker to the right. Let's see if we can make this one. Yes, sir. Birdie time. Hole number four. Par four, 367 yards. Dog leg almost 90 degrees down there. The target should be, if you can see that red barn in the distance or just left of it, you want to stay away from the right. There's just no reason to go over there. I'm hitting uh, my same three iron I did on the last hole. And if I do what I want to do, it should leave me about 120 or so. Normally I would hit a four, but the ground's wet. So we'll see if this will get down there to the bottom. Looks really good. I like it. Okay, we didn't quite make it as far out as, as I would have liked. It may have hit this pine tree a little bit. I'm not sure. But either way, we've got a shot. We've got 115 to a back pin. And I need to be a little bit careful because this green leans away from us. And if I carry it all the way back there to the back pin, it's very likely to bounce over. So, and that's the max of this club. So I've got to take just a little bit off of it and not try to hit it as far as I can, which is a difficult thing for me. But what I'm going to do is choke up on it and try to hit it normally. It was pure and crisp, but a little left. Could be on the green or on the fringe, though. So we're all just off the fringe here. We've got about 35, 40 feet downhill breaker to the left, and it's a little dangerous. If you're not careful, you can hammer it well by the hole. So again, this is another one. Try to get it down there and not leave a bunch of work. That's looking pretty good. Could even break and go in, but no, it won't. But I'll take it. It's six inches. Another easy par. See, I've got uh, 215 uphill, wet ground. I'm going to go with three wood, and if it doesn't reach, it should be just short. Hit pretty well. I cut it slightly. It's going to be a little over to the right side of the green, but not bad. It's very solid. I've got about a, I'd say a 30-yard pitch shot, and I've got about 20 feet of green, and the ball's sitting down in some rough, so I'm going to need some height here. I'm going to have to open the face a bit. I want to test this resistance a bit. I'd like to carry it onto the green, especially with it being wet like this. I can't, I don't judge the bounce well when it's dry, much less when it's good and wet like this, so let's hit this one going to come left when it gets on the green. Pretty good, I think. Yeah, I like it. About three feet. Pick her up or birdie. So that's uh, four under on the front side. Not bad for a geezer. All right, hole number 10. 354 from this back tee. By the way, I am playing the back tees on most of these holes. Um, I'm going to go with three wood. 
driver can get you in a little trouble if it goes a little too far and too left here. So let's see if we can get one down the fairway with the three wood and take what's left. Oh, and I like it a lot. That's just really good. Down the right center. Unfortunately, that, um, that ball down the right center took a hard bounce on this hill. <clears throat> got over here in the rough. And now I've got a um, specialty shot. I've got to punch under the limbs and try to get it on or near the grain. I want to avoid the bunker. So I'm going to go left of the bunker and try to fade it just a little bit and see if it can just bounce on the grain or be somewhere over there where I can get up and down. I've got 107 yards and I'm going to use the four iron just to keep it under those limbs. Pretty much like I was drawing it up, I think. Maybe that's too far though. I, I hit it too good. Should be just over the back. Not much. Not sure if you can see the ball right now from this angle, but it's about 10 feet off the grain. The grain is going to be against me. So I'm thinking I'm going to use the 52 wedge instead of the 56, just to kind of help get it to the hole so I won't have to swing so hard. Let's see if that works here. Don't do anything differently. It just should come out a little lower and bite that grain a little better. And yeah, it did. It wasn't a great chip. I kind of flipped my hand at it a little bit and made it go left, but it's perfect distance and it's two feet. And I'll take the par. Another par. Good par from being a little bit in trouble there. Okay, we've skipped ahead to hole number seven. Par five, dog leg left. See if we can just hit it straight out. A hair right, but it's pretty good. But we're over on hole 15, oh, excuse me, 16 now, par five. I've got 241. I had to wait for the green to clear. Some guys up there. I haven't made a birdie on this side, so I turn four under and I'm still four under. I'm going to go with driver at 241 just to see if I can get it close to the green. Also, I hear a lot of thunder coming up behind me, so I don't know if we're going to get finished. Well, we don't usually take a divot with a driver, but it was well hit. It's just not going to going to get on the green. It's just left of the bunker. Maybe I can get up and down from there. Okay, so that miss wasn't too terrible. Got about a 40-yard pitch this time, and once again, uphill lie. Tough to get it to the hole with the grain. So again, I'm going with the 52 wedge instead of the 56. Help get it to the hole. Perhaps make our first birdie on this nine. I think I like it. Yeah, that's pretty good. It looks like about four feet. As we're walking up, we can see it's a pretty good, pretty close shot from where it was. I'm happy with it. See if we can finish it off. I'm really very tired. I can feel my legs are weary. Should be inside right, straight in. If I can manage that. Yes, sir. Finally got another birdie. Puts us at five under for the day. Due to a big rain and a flood last night, fairway here on 17 floods, 
So it looks like they've made it into a par three, which means I've got a 300 yard walk to the tee. So we'll see you then. Okay, so we finally made it through the temporary tee here on number 17. They've got it set at 105 uphill to a front flag. That's kind of between clubs for me. So I'm going to go again with the shorter one and, and try to add a little to it. I have a, what I do is I'll, I'll, I'll aim a little right and close the club face about two degrees. And it gives me, you know, another six yards or so. So that's what I'm going to try to do, see if I can get it there. <clears throat> I'm just not really good at hitting, uh, taking yardage off. So this is what happens here. That looks pretty good. Right at it. Oh, it hit the front edge and spun back down into the fringe. It was a really good hit. Um, it's, there's a false front there, and I just didn't get over it. Yeah, yeah, so false front. My ball mark was up there about six feet in front of the hole, and then it spun back down this false front. So I've still only got about 15 feet. I'm going to have to hammer it pretty hard. And it uh, looks relatively straight. Would love to see this one fall. I think it did. Oh my gosh. I don't know how it died out of the hole. It was looking good all the way. Easy par. Okay, hole 18. I'm probably at about 475, 480. Sounds easy, but it's not. There's a pond down there. Um, although today I don't think there's any problem with me reaching it. And then it's straight uphill to the green, so it plays longer than the yardage indicates. But with two good woods, I can be near the green and have another good chance to birdie. Let's see if we can do it. And I like that right down the left side. That's the drier side of the two. Yeah, good bounce. Let's go see what we got left. Well, I've got 222 left up the hill. My phone says battery low, so I don't know how much more of this I'm going to get. I'm going to go with driver again. Maybe I can hit it a little better than I did that last one and get it up really close to the green for one more birdie. And again, I hit it left. Okay, once again with the gap wedge, with the grain, et cetera, et cetera, I'm, I'm kind of in a hurry. I would like to get this on video. Hope the battery doesn't finish running out. Looks good, about three feet right. Looks like just outside right. One more birdie. So that was um, six under. Beats the heck out of shooting my age, which is 69. So that was a 65. Hope y'all enjoyed the show today. And we'll see you next time.